Welcome you to customer. This video I try to explain how Universe Server running on the CentOS 7.8 version on Universe 11.3.1 they connect to SQL Server 2019. Actually, you can connect to other database like uh, SQL Server 2016 or 17 and also uh, using the Microsoft ODBC driver for Linux. So today the demo will show you that's the environment. First, I like to set up SQL Server environment on the SQL Server 2019 using Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio tool to set up one particular database called UV underscore database and select the security server property auction. It must be choose a SQL Server and Windows authentication mode, both. Then you need to define a SQL Server login username and password. So you might be also can uh, create a sample database. I create a states file and use the ID and name and put some sample data there so you can do the testing. The next step, you just need to install Microsoft ODBC driver for SQL Server on Linux. They have a very easy way uh, to install the driver. Also install come with the Unix ODBC driver manager. After you install it, you can set the ODBC INI file and ODBC INSD INI file. Sometimes you can uh, turn on the login and set it inside the ODBC INST INI file. After you set it, you can use in iSQL tool to verify your ODBC .INI setting and your Microsoft ODBC driver manager is setting correct or not. When the environment ready, the next step is just very simple. You can uh, using the BCI connection on the universe connect to uh, Windows SQL Server 2019. I will show you and demo on the next the step. So the how to install it, the driver, uh, Microsoft do provide the techno to explain how you install it. Uh, you can go to this the web link and to run it. Uh, I will post the web link in the YouTube description field so you can go there and follow the instruct instruction so most important thing and just run this uh, three command one is just set up the ODBC compatible and also uh, install the ODBC driver SQL uh, 17 version and they have multiple version I test this on 17 and also uh, install the Unix ODBC driver manager and iSQL tool. After you install it, you just need to set up ODBC.ni file, connect to your SQL Server environment. And I also turn on the login to show you how to easy to set the login and run the iSQL command. So after you set install it, and most important, uh, after installed, you will install called Unix ODBC Driver Manager. And the driver manager will be installed inside the user lib64 folder. All, if you look at the folder, there has a very important file called libodbc.so. So that one actually is a the linking pointer actually is linking to libodbc.so.2.0.0 
if you install different version you might see the different uh, version number build number so most important starting point is called libodbc.so for universe is pretty simple you just need to define the odbc data source inside the uvodbc.config file here just example i will create a call sql server 2019 is inside the odbc.ini file uh, on the previous the universe you might be need to run the relink that you will recommend but on the latest 11.3.1 it's not necessary to uh, relink this library anymore so it depends on the universe version for uh, my testing on 11.3.1 is not necessary to uh, set up the dynamic link and so after set it I can run universe uh, BCI connect command to test the connection from universe to SQL server I also create the one sample basic program and can connect to uh, SQL server 2019 and also have another program it's a BCI select ODBC 2 is the same program the 2 is no any input parameter everything is hard coded so I can test it from any UO.net or YouTube toolkit the UO program to test the connection from UO client go through the universe and go through the SQL server I will demo it one by one when you try to using uh, BCI from universe connect to SQL server first step you need to uh, run in the Microsoft SQL server management studio tool to set up the SQL server database and so for my testing I created one particular called UV underscore database inside the uh, UV underscore database I create one particular state file it's very simple the state table only contain two column field one is ID one is the name I insert two sample data so it's the two simple record I can do the demo so next step after you create it make sure all the server uh, the the property if you go to the server property the most important thing you need to set up a one particular connection part you need to set the uh, SQL server and Windows authentication mode because it from the Linux to Windows so you need to create a particular particular call SQL users so I w the SQL user I already create on this system uh, security and lo login I put create a particular call U2 user I can connect to this UV underscore database so after I create it the next step need to install particular the Microsoft ODBC uh, driver is the 17 for Linux environment they have a multiple uh, version on the system so they have a documentation on uh, Microsoft website I will put this link on this YouTube video description field so you can get the link and they have multiple driver manager right now I just more focus on uh, Microsoft ODBC 17 so inside the 17 they have a multiple version uh, we only concern is the for uh, this uh, Linux version uh, using the Red Hat CentOS is very similar and basically you can do the same thing on this uh, based on this documentation you just install the Microsoft ODBC driver also install the Unix ODBC driver manager so here the next step I will show you how to run uh, the uh, command uh, just very simple that's the first 
command uh, to install the Microsoft uh, ODBC driver 17. I already installed it, you get it error. If first time you will get the uh, install driver successful. And the second one, um, basically, uh, is this one is uh, installed the IC core and Unix ODVC driver manager. After you install it, uh, basically they put it in the system folder. So basically a couple of things, you will put the uh, Unix ODVC driver manager. So what is ODBC driver manager? Unix ODBC driver manager is a libodbc.so. So after you install it, and most important, we are looking for a uh, called libodbc.so. But actually, the, the driver actually is libodbc.so.2.0.0. That's the actual driver installed on this system. Another is they put the uh, the ODBC in the EDC folder. So ODBC setting. So inside here, the first one is the ODBC install the INF file. So by default, actually, you create the a driver like this. Then I install, I set up the additional setting called ODBC. Then I can define and try to create the login for every ODBC connection. So I will put on the uh, for slash temp uh, Unix ODBC.log file. So you can, based on this simple setting, you create the log file. The next step will be uh, you need to uh, create the INI file. So that's the sample uh, SQL Server 2019 data, uh, ODBC data source connect to uh, my SQL Server machine and put the username and password. So I, after I set it, basically I can use in the iSQL command, I use in V and SQL Server 2019. So I have uh, YouTube. YouTube and that's the password. That's the sample password. So you see the successful. So if we uh, select start from stage, uh, we know it's working fine on the uh, two sample records. So that's the dot uh, IC core command. So after. So after you can click a uh, uh, IC call statement. So next step, you will be after you running IC call successful, then we can uh, test universe BCI connection. Before we can uh, start to test the BCI connection, we need to set the UV ODVC uh, config file. So that's the UV folder. So VI UV ODBC dot config. So inside here, let's the by default installation. You will uh, have a local UV setting. But for ODBC connection, you need to set additional ODBC data source. Uh, the name must be the same. De defined in the odbc.ini file. So inside there, I call SQL Server 2019. So I set up DVNS type equal odbc. So after I sell it, then I can uh, test uh, B BCI connection. So I want to uh, set up in the hs.sales. So I can run uh, user uv bin 
a UV. So I connect to Logbin Universe share and I can uh, test the uh, SQL Server 2019 ODBC data source. So using very simple command called CON connect uh, con connect to So you choose. So you see, I same thing goes through the BCI's connect to SQL Server successful. So I can run the same command, just like a uh, iSQL. So you will return the data uh, successful. So basically, I also uh, create the basic program. It's the same program. So this program, I show show you A E B P B C I select O D B C. So that's the program we call the B C I basic program. So there's a lot of detail, but I will put the source code. Uh, you can download it. Uh, you can run it on test on your environment. So I have a run compile a uh, run it uh, for my testing. Connect to uh, is the universe environment, and basically SQL Server 2019 and username. Password and states. So I got the same result back. And actually, I created another program called BCI Select ODBC2. It's the same program just without any input. So I can run BP BCI. So you got the same result. Why I need to uh, create this program? Because I want to test it from uh, one uh, simple uh, your data application client. So you can do the same thing from here. I make a connection from your data client connect to universe server. Then I can uh, actually I know the server is running 11.31. Then I can run a BP. BCI so I can run from here you will see I can get the same data back so I know it's from your data client still can run the BCI uh, program without any problem so I hope you can enjoy this simple uh, video to can you can uh, run the BCI solution connect to SQL Server on your universe environment.